Now, if you've been investing for a while and you got all of your money invested inside of the stock market, remember, you don't want all of your eggs set up inside one basket just in case something happens, then it's all gone. You want to have just a little bit set up in the international market somewhere else where you don't have to always rely on the American market. If something happens inside the American economy. You don't want your, your portfolio to completely be diminished, right? You want to have a little bit set up somewhere else in another market. Don't have all of your eggs in one basket, even if it is just a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the top eight international dividend stocks that you need to be watching or buying inside of this video but first i would like to thank today's sponsor of this video moomoo they gave me a special link for my subscribers you guys in this video right now if you click the link down in the description sign up deposit a hundred dollars if you use anybody else's link if you just go to the website and sign up you will get seven free fractional shares but if you use my link they gave me this special link you guys will receive 10 free fractional shares of the big seven nvidia google microsoft that's right guys you will receive 10 free fractional shares of the big seven valued up to 50 dollars that listen you deposit 100 dollars, you're going to get 50 dollars worth of shares that is by far the easiest way to get started on your investing journey have money inside of your portfolio and now you're introduced to the big seven inside of your portfolio just from signing up and depositing 100 dollars. but wait that's not it if you deposit your cash inside of their account now they have a 5.1 percent on cash sweep interest so over the entire year you'll earn 5.1 percent just from the cash that's sitting inside of your portfolio so 5.1 percent is no nothing to joke about guys that is an amazing opportunity uh, to get started inside the stock market if you're not ready to invest the cash on there will be getting 5.1 percent apy and you'll be getting 10 free fractional shares of the big seven so guys do not miss out on this amazing opportunity once again i'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video moo moo my link is special down in the description check that out start getting trading today but i'm not talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers so yes i'm going to be bringing you stocks from all over the world um these eight stocks i think the average came out to around four percent of these eight stocks the highest one being around 6.3 percent and the lowest being around two percent and some of these companies have been exploding last year and over the last 10 years they've been exploding and some of these companies are at a steal right now let's go ahead and pull up the first stock all right dreamers here we are on mumu the first ticker symbol is nestle ticker symbol n s or GY, they are a Swiss based company. Now, Nestle is one of the largest food and beverage companies. Nestle continues to dive into market innovations and expansions, enhances its portfolio by health focused offerings. Their commitment to sustainable and ethical sourcing further strengthened their brand reputation in the market position, supporting the reliable dividend growth track. Now, Nestle, as you guys can see here, they have a dividend yield of 3.49%, which is absolutely amazing if we take a look at the stock market right here. Now, if we take a look at their projections over the last year, they have been trending down all the way from all time high to around one hundred twenty seven dollars to a low of ninety seven dollars and thirty four cents. Right now, at the recording of this video, Nestle is at one hundred and one dollars. Now, over the last year, Nestle is down twenty one percent. But we can see that as a steal because over the last ten years, over the last ten years, Nestle is up. 31%. So you can look at the 21% pullback as um, getting in at Nestle at a discount. They do have a pretty good dividend yield of 3.49%. And we're getting them at a discount and they have a, a long track history of the last 10, 20 years of them trending upward. So this is a pullback. We need to do more research on this one, see why they're pulling back, see when it's a good price that we could get in on Nestle. So this is one that we're going to add to our stock watch list um do more research on in order for us to buy at a great price in the future let's move over to stock number two all right stock number two is royal dutch shell there is a dutch based company right that is ticker symbol s-h-e-l here we go shell everyone knows the gas station with the big yellow and red sign the shell gas station right now they're at 73 dollars and 27 cents and they have a dividend yield of 3.38 percent now royal dust shell is a transitioning towards more sustainable energy solutions focusing on reducing carbon emissions and increasing investments in renewable energy sources so despite the volatile energy market shell maintains robust dividend payments supported by a subnatural operational scale and global present now we take a look at shell <laughs> over the last year they've been doing insane numbers in fact they're up 21 percent this year alone and they have a dividend yield of 
0.38%. So um, I know oil and gas is a big thing in the past. We see that the future is going to be renewable energy or electricity or anything of that matter right there. But Shell is a multi-billion dollar company. And if we look at a Shell market cap right there on the right, it's $234 billion. They are a multi-billion dollar company. It, will, it won't be hard for them to flip the switch from oil and gas over to electricity. They have so much money that they'll be able to do that. And then they're already pouring some of that money inside of the uh, research into renewable energies. So Shell is going to be around for a very long time. And with a dividend yield of 3.38%, this is something that I going to add to my portfolio as well. So let's go ahead to look at stock number three. All right, stock number three is Unilever. I don't know if I said it right. It is a London-based company on the London Stock Exchange. So uh, the ticker symbol is UL for us. There we go. Uh, right now, they're at $51.24. Over the last year, they have been pulling back a little bit. They're down 5%. They just had a recent boost on one of their earnings right there. So they are down, they're still down 5%. But over the last 10 years, they're up 16%. And them being up 16% with a 3.69% dividend yield, this is the company that we need to take a better look at. Now, Unilever's strong emphasis on sustainable and ethical produced consumer goods resonates well with modern consumers, um, driving consistent sales growth. Their diverse products range across global markets, provide stability and support a dependable dividend policy. Now, ticker symbol UL, once again, they have a dividend yield of 3.69%. Um, they're down 5% on the year, but they're up 16% uh, over the last 10 years. So on top of them going 16% over the last 10 years, every year you are getting that 3.69% dividend yield, uh, which is amazing. Remember guys, anything over 1.75 is a pretty good dividend yield for me. It's, it's aggressive enough to where I'll be able to retire in the future. And it's not so high that um, the company is not able to grow itself. And it's not so high that the company is not able to grow to reinvest back inside itself because it's paying its shareholders so much in dividends that it can't grow so i, I like anything above uh, 1.75 and below 5% is what I'm looking like. Anything over today, I really have to do a lot of research on how are their dividends so high. All right, so that's going to move us to ticket symbol number four, Toyota. Um, Toyota, ticket symbol TM, has absolutely been killing it over the last couple of years. So yeah, Toyota is based in Tokyo. Toyota leads in innovation with significant investments in electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel technology. They anticipate future automotive trends. Their global manufacturing efficiency and strong brand loyalty facilitate strong revenue and dividend. Now, Toyota, over the last year alone, they're up 69%. <laughs> Over the last year alone, they're up 69%, all the way from $165 up to $255. And over the last 10 years, they're up 106%. And they don't have the highest dividend yield, but they meet my standards. They have a dividend yield of 1.98%. This is the lowest on the list, almost 2%. And right now at the recording of this video, they're at $226.71. And Toyota is based in Tokyo. Absolutely love their cars. Everyone knows that their cars last forever. They're doing something right over there. They build great, amazing cars. Maybe not be the fastest cars, but they are reliable just like their dividends are reliable. So this is one that I'm definitely going to consider adding to my portfolio. If you guys already own Moomoo Moo and put Toyota on your list, this might be something that you might want to buy whenever you see it at a good deal. All right, over to the next stock five, ticket symbol HS, HSB. C. All right, so HSBC Holdings is also in London. Um, they're forty-one dollars and ninety cents with a six point three two percent dividend yield. Um, over the last year, they're up seventeen percent alone, but over the last ten years, they're down seventeen percent. So kind of trading sideways. Could be getting at a deal right now. So they're kind of been trading flat, but they have such a high dividend yield of six point three two percent that you are still, even if they do trade sideways, you are gaining six point three two percent every single year in dividends alone so that's still pretty sweet now hsbc holdings capitalize on emerging market growth and international trade their focus on digital banking transformation aims to enhance efficiency and customer experiencing underprinting financial stability and regular dividend so i do believe that this is the highest dividend yield on this list uh, at 6.32 percent there's another six percent on this one so make sure that you stay to the end of this video so you don't miss out on that high dividend yield and also if you made it to this part of the video go ahead hit that subscribe and like button that really helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine and also share, yeah, share it with a friend and leave a comment down below about any of the stocks that I speak of in this video. Help me beat the YouTube algorithm. 
Now let's move over to the next stock. The next stock is ticker symbol NVS. Now NVS is also a Swiss based company. Tickers, the price is at $97.44 with an amazing dividend yield of 3.88%. If we take a look at the charts um, over the last year, they're up 1% and over the last 10 years, they're up 17%, which is absolutely amazing. Now NVS is in the forefront of medical research with a strong pipeline in gene therapy and digital health solutions that promises to drive future growth. So yeah guys, NVS has been performing really well over the last 10 years, up 17% with a 3.88% dividend yield. Right now, as you guys can see, they had an all-time high of $104 with a low of $88 and they're pulling all the way back to $97. So we will look for a good entry point. It is in a bit of a pullback right now um after this big jump around right here so we want to look for a good entry point on nvs don't just dive in so after we do our technical analysis on this this might be one that i'm looking at in the future because i like what they're promoting and how they've been operating their business over the last couple of years all right so number seven bhp all right, BHP is an Australian-based company. The first Australian-based company on this list. Now, it's a leading group research um, company. BHP is well-positioned in markets like iron ore, copper, and nickel, uh, which are critical for the global economy and renewable technologies. Their strong focus on operational efficiency and capital discipline supports their dividend strategy. Uh, right now, they're $56.43, um, and they have a dividend yield of 6.3%. Now, over the last year, they're down 3%, and over the last, what, 10 years, they're down 5%, um, but they did have a good run up to $67, showing that they can get up to $67 again. Right now, they're at $56. We want to wait for them to recover, break this little uh, area of resistance right here of $60 right here. If you break that area of resistance of $60, that could be a good price point for us to get in. Yes, they are down on the year. Yes, they are down a little bit over the last 10 years. But with a 6% dividend yield, even if that continue to trade sideways, we can earn 6% every single year. And if we get in at the right price, we can profit. As long as we're not buying at all-time highs, they're not. At, they're currently not at an all-time high. So we'll do a little bit more, set up an alert right here. Let's set up alert. This is the cool thing about uh, Mumu. Let's set up alert right there at price rise to above and let's set it for 60 points and complete there we go so we got alert set for 60 dollars once it go above that it's send a text to my phone and i could go in and see if, if i'm ready to buy um bhp at that moment all right so now let's move to number eight the last one on this list which is took symbol s i e g y a lot of these are a little weird all right so s i e g y is on the frankfurt exchange uh, right now they're 95 dollars and 24 cents with a dividend yield of 2.5 percent s i e g y integration in digital technology across its industries infrastructure and healthcare platforms drives its market leadership and operational efficiency their forward front looking strategies in automotives and data analysis supports a robust and growing dividend yield. With all that being said, <laughs> over the last year, they're up 19%. Yep. They have a 2.5% dividend yield and they're up 19% over the last year alone. And over the last 10 years, they're up 46%. So the other highest one was Toyota. Toyota was up 69% in one year, 106% in 10 years. Now SIEGY is up 19% in one year and up 46% over the last 10 years with a 2.5% dividend yield completely insane guys this is one that i'm definitely having on my list because if they could continue to grow like that year after year and have a 2.5 percent dividend yield boy oh boy oh boy i could retire earlier than i even thought but yeah that is number eight on this list and there we go dreamers that is the top eight international dividend stocks to take a look at so you don't have all of your money where it was wrapped up inside the american economy some of you could be in the australian economy um tokyo economy swiss economy things like that so you don't if anything happens over here you could have just a little bit set up over there and these other exchanges just so that you don't all of your eggs in one basket let me know down in the comment section which one of these is your favorite which one did you 
uh, do you guys already own? If you already own it, let me know down in the comment section. But I want to know which one of these eight is your favorite. And then I might do a deep dive on the one that's most commented down below in a future video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on that. Guys, this, this, this channel is all about making passive income and dividends. It's by far the most passive form of income there is. You do absolutely nothing at all. And you receive a check every month or every quarter from these amazing companies. But as long as you're investing inside amazing companies, and I think these are the, the top international stocks. We're always talking about American stocks, but we need to look at some international stocks that could help um, us grow our portfolio as well and had, add a little bit of safety to our portfolio. But once again, I'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Moomoo. That link is down in the description. My link is down in the description. You click that, sign up, you get 10 free fractional shares of the big seven valued up to $50. And also if you want to learn more about dividend investing, I'm going to leave a link down in the pinned comment section to mastering dividends. You click that, it teach you everything about dividends that I'm not able to teach about in a 10, 15 minute video. Everything is in that free ebook down in the comment section, mastering dividends. It took me a while to make that. You guys could get it completely free. Check that out. And you're going to learn a lot more about dividend investing. But yeah, that's it guys. I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.